Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about classes and objects in Ruby. Now, classes and objects are an extremely important concept in Ruby. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you a basic overview of what a class is, what an object is, how we can create classes, and how we can create objects. So make sure you pay attention because this is a very important topic when it comes to Ruby. Now, Ruby is an awesome language because it allows us to use all different types of data inside of our programs. So if you watched the video that I did on data types in Ruby, we looked at some of the basic data types that Ruby gives us, things like strings, uh, integers, floating point numbers, things like Booleans, um, and even like the nil value, right? There's all these different types of data that we can represent and we can work with and we can use in our Ruby programs. But here's the problem, is not all things, not all information, not all objects, not all entities in the real world can be represented by just those pieces of information, right? You can't represent everything with just a string or with just a number or with just a Boolean, right? There's a lot of things in the real world, like a lot of you know different things like a person or a phone or a credit card or a water bottle or a computer, a keyboard, a mouse. Like there's a lot of these real world things that can't be represented using just a string or just a number. And one of the cool things about Ruby is it allows us to create our own data types. So I could actually create my own data type that it would allow me to represent like a phone inside of my program, or that would allow me to represent a computer or a credit card or a book or a lampshade or a dog, really anything I would want I could represent inside of my program and I could essentially just create my own data type. And essentially what that is, it's called a class. So we can create a class in Ruby, and a class is basically just a custom data type. So it's a data type that we can define. So I can basically say like, I wanna represent a book inside of my program. And I can say, here's what a book looks like in my program. Maybe it has like a title, it has an author, it has like a, you know, a certain number of pages associated to it. And then I can take that book data type and I can create individual books from there. So I can take this book class that we're gonna create and I can create individual books. I can represent individual books inside of my program. So I'm gonna show you guys how we can do that. We're gonna create a book data type or a book class and then we're gonna create some book objects. So this is gonna be pretty cool. In order to create a class, I can just come over to my Ruby file and I'm just gonna type out class. And now I wanna give it a name. And generally in Ruby, when we create a class, you're gonna to wanna to give it a name with a capital letter. So I could say like B-O-O-K -okay with capital B, and then I'm gonna come down here and just type end. So remember, a class is essentially a custom data type in Ruby. So when we create a class, we're basically modeling a real world entity or a real world object inside of our program. So inside of this book class, I'm basically telling Ruby what a book is. I'm defining like, here's what a book is. And generally when we create a class, we're gonna give these classes various attributes. And that's how we can create a data type. I can say, okay, here's my book class. And every book is gonna have a title, it's gonna have an author, and it's gonna have a number of pages, right? A class is essentially like a blueprint or a template for a specific entity or object in the real world. Like a book is an actual entity in the real world, right? A book is an object that we can interact with and work with. And this class is a template or a blueprint for representing a book inside of our program. We're basically creating our own data type. So inside of this book class, I can actually define a bunch of attributes. And attributes is just gonna be information that all books are gonna have. So we're essentially telling Ruby like, hey, all books should have the following information. So inside of this class, I'm just gonna type out ATTR underscore A-C-C-E-S-S-O-R, attribute accessor. And now I'm gonna make a space, and over here I'm gonna type in the attributes that a book should have inside of our program. So I'm just gonna type a colon, and I'm gonna type the name of the attribute I wanna define. So all books should have a title, I'm gonna put a comma, books should have an author, and then books should also have a number of pages. So I'm just gonna say pages. So essentially what I'm doing here is, again, I'm laying out the blueprint for a book inside of my program. So I'm essentially saying like, here's the book data type and all books are gonna have a title, they're gonna have an author, and they're gonna have pages. So this is like our overall blueprint, our overall template. 
So now that we've created this, now that we've told Ruby what a book is, we can actually go and create individual books inside of our programs. And these are called objects. And an object is essentially just an instance of a book or an instance of a class. So I could create a book object and that book object would represent an individual book in my program. So I'm gonna come down here and you can create objects essentially the same way that you create variables. And actually, as we'll learn, all variables in Ruby are actually just objects. So I'm gonna give this a name. So we'll just call this book one and I'm gonna set it equal to book.new. I'm gonna make an open and close parentheses. Basically what this is doing is it's telling Ruby that we wanna create a new book. So we want to create an actual book inside of our program. In other words, we wanna store the book data type inside of this book one variable. Now down here, what I can do is I can actually give this book attributes. So remember, we defined a book up here that it's gonna have a title, an author, and a number of pages. So down here, I can basically say book one dot title is equal to, and we can make this like a Harry Potter book, right? So I'm basically defining what the title of this book is. And down here, I could say book two dot author, and we'll make the author JK Rowling. And we can say, and actually, whoops, this has to be book one, I'm sorry. And then we can say book one dot pages, and we can set this equal to like, I don't know, maybe it has 400 pages or something. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm creating this book object. And remember, an object is an instance of a class. So an, a book object is basically just like a given book inside of our program that's gonna have all of these attributes. And I'm giving it all of these different attributes. I'm assigning it some information. So what I can actually do now is I can interact with this object. So I could say puts book one dot title, and this is gonna print out the title of book one onto the screen. You see over here, it's printing out Harry Potter. Over here, I could print out book one dot pages, and it's gonna print out all of the pages in book one, so there's 400, and we could do the same with the author. So essentially what I did was I created my own data type up here. I created a template for what a book is inside of our program. I said the book is gonna have these certain attributes. I created a new instance of a book, so I created a book object, and then I gave all of those attributes specific information. So I said like the title of book one is gonna be Harry Potter. The author of book one is gonna be JK Rowling. And what's cool about objects is we can create as many of them as we want. So, so down here, I could actually create another book. I could say book two is equal to book.new. And then I can start giving this some attributes. So I could say like book two.title is equal to Lord of the Rings. We could say book two dot author is equal to Tolkien and book two dot pages is equal to, let's say 500. So now I'm actually representing another separate book inside of my program. So I can come down here and say like puts book two dot author. And this is gonna print out the author of book two over here in the console. So essentially what we did again was we defined the template for what a book is gonna be inside of our program. And this is a class. And then we can create instances of that class which are called objects. And an object is just like an actual book. So we have the Harry Potter book. And we also have the Lord of the Rings book down here. And we can access all of the attributes from inside those books by saying book2.author or book2.pages. We can just refer to them directly. And that's one of the cool things about classes and objects is they allow you to create your own custom data types inside of Ruby. And one of the cool things about Ruby is that everything, all data is actually classes and objects. So all data is actually an object. A string is an object. An integer, like a number, is an object. A floating point number is an object. A Boolean is an object. All of these different things are objects and they all have classes which define them. That's really one of the cool things about Ruby and one thing that sets it apart from a lot of other programming languages is that everything is an object. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. 
Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.